Welcome to Fairmont Sports and Classics and today we're going to do another driving video. We haven't done one in a while but today we've got three classic minis. This one, 1994, 1966 and a 2000. The very latest and one of the earlier minis as well. Now if you compare, let's say, Toyota, Ford, of how their designs have changed over the 35 year period compared to these, these are very similar. So they got the design on this car bang on right the very first time. It's the one thing Brits are good at doing, the classic Mini, and we all know that. They've done it so well, look at them, they look great. And in this video, I'm going to drive every single one of these and tell you what I think. So let's jump in one of them and get started. Okay, so up first is this Mini, this is classic Mini, 1994. Now, I used to have a Mini, and I can tell you I'm sure most Mini, all, all Classic Mini owners or previous owners will know that every single Classic Mini drives completely different, whether it's the driving position, the steering wheel feel, you know, the engine, the gearbox, how comfortable it is, how old it is, and just how it makes you feel behind the wheel. To this day, after driving so many Minis, I've not yet driven two Minis that feel the same. And it's mad to think that because they look very identical, well, in the, uh, the shape of how they are. But it's great, that's, what, that's what's so good about minis. Anyway, this mini is a cracking little car. I've already made a walk around and drive video of this uh, mini, so if you want to see that, then click up here, somewhere above my head. All minis are so fun to drive. They're got their own character, each and every one of them. They're a hoot to drive. Diddy little steering wheel. Now this one, it's the 1.3 engine. Picked up nicely, got the four speed gearbox. They've all got the four speed gearbox, or you can get, which isn't normally a, a rare sight, the automatic. But with a Mini, and it's got to be a manual, so darty, they feel so darty. You move the steering wheel just a natch a bit and the whole car sort of shimmers to the left or to the right, depending on which way you go obviously. Feels really good this one. And I've said this before, some minis, you know, don't drive as nicely and some minis, you know, drive really good and nice and tight and feel good around the corners and this one does. I love the steering feel you get from this car and it's crazy to think after even four years after only my Mini, you, um, you can, you've got that distinctive A-series uh, noise coming from the front, such a distinctive noise and it's just great. Go right here. Oh. Another thing I love about Minis is that they're so small and diddy. Squeeze in between gaps. Oh, the cake is still on. It will be interesting to see how this compares to the uh, older one and the newer one. So I've now gone back just under 30 years in the classic mini world. I'm now sitting in a 1966. Morris Mini Minor and it certainly feels different this one's got the 848cc engine oh now the gears are a bit you know uh, it feels a different car of course being older it's going to have a lot more um, character but you've got to be a bit more it's a bit more fragile so you've got to be a bit more careful with the car and treat it a bit better due to its age, but it's all uh, expected. Gearbox feels different and the first gear isn't synchro. So you just got to be a bit more delicate with the car. But I tell you what, it is lovely. It still definitely feels like a Mini. It is a bit louder in this car, with some indicators. They're there somewhere. So 
with non-synchro gear, you've got to really brake. I'm really sorry, van driver behind me. Sorry. And then put it into first gear because you can't just go straight into first, otherwise it will um, crunch. Oh, sorry, sorry, car, sorry. But it it feels like a tremendous little car. Even the steering wheel, it's got a bit of a a London bus steering wheel, and it's quite big, thin steering wheel, but it's all part of the fun. Now the driving position is quite similar in the way that I think all minis have that sort of um, upwards, sort of uh, quite close to your face steering wheel position. That's just how they've always been, but the rest of the interior is very, very different. Although it's the same size, but as you can tell, it's very a lot more simple in here, you've got no nothing in here really, you've got the choke and you didn't have choke in the other car, you've got a big, the classic big uh, dial in the centre of the speedo, you haven't even got a rev counter, it's all changed from the 28 years between the two cars and it'll be interesting to see again what it's like with the newer 2000 Mini. One thing you do realise when you're driving a tiny car is how big cars are, not just obviously trucks are in front of me in lorries, but even normal cars now that are much bigger, you feel how vulnerable you are in a, in a fun way I guess. It's, uh, it's all part of the, I think with a Mini, when you're driving a Mini, everything seems fun on the road, whether you're driving around the corner fast or just poodling on traffic because you get people laugh and smile at you. All speeds, all weather conditions, even when it's raining you, you just laugh, I know it's not ideal. Where are you going to go? Look at the size of me compared to that thing. me. Oh, where's first gear? There we go. Christ. Probably could fit inside that thing if I really tried. I'm not going to try, but... Indicator to my right. There we go. So it's a very different drive, but again, like I said, it is expected. It's a lot more of a delicate car, delicate car. it's older. Ooh, hang on, right indicator. I've still got the right indicator on. Sorry. But it still feels great, and I mean it, it still feels great. Tell you what, although it is quite, a, in a way, a bumpy ride, but it's actually quite you know, it's better than you might, might, you might think. First gear, there we go. Do you know, with cars like this, when you've got to fill the car more and be more careful with the gears, it makes you, sorry car, it makes you appreciate not just this car, but how cars have, you know, progressed, changed and improved on over the years and how engineering has got better. It makes you see how far not just the Mini, but how far cars have come, especially over the past 50 years and how far we've travelled and gone to places from A to B. It's quite amazing, really. I don't know if I'm not boring you there. But I'm enjoying this. I'm now going to cut this any second now and jump in the blue Mini and see how that compares. Right, hello everyone. You now join me with this Mini on a different day. Um, when I was filming the other two cars, I was quite busy towards the end. Anyway, we're now driving this Mini on a much hotter day. We've got the aircon on, aircon being the windows down. I'm sure everyone knows that who's driven or been in a classic Mini. Already it feels a lot more, um, a lot more responsive even compared to the, uh, the brown Mini. A lot more uh, nippy, a lot more awake. I'll put the window off a bit just so you can hear me better. Oh, there we go, wrong. Up rather, there we go. Again, like the other two minis, it feels different. It still feels like a mini, even the engine sounds a bit different, the exhaust. It feels a lot more, probably not the right thing to say, modern in here, but compared to the other two, the other one, the older one, had the centre dash and that was it, the few dials at the bottom. The uh, 19, or the brown one, had a few more dials and this one's got a lot more radio, 
you've got more uh, gauges and what have you, and it just feels a lot more, a bit more well built inside. It feels, you can see how the Mini, or the Mini has evolved over the years. They've come a long way in how many years they've been going. I've sort of lost track a lot. Power-wise, it sort of feels, at the uh, higher end, it feels the same sort of amount of power as the brown one. Lower end, this feels a lot more torquey. Not massively, but noticeably more torquey. Gears feel nice, the gears feel nice in this one. Chunkier steering wheel. Some people prefer it, some people don't. I like all sorts of steering wheels and minis. I like, I think sometimes the smaller the better, the more of the darty feel you get. And this one's got a nice size, I believe this is a 13 inch wheel. Now compared to the, uh, I'm mainly comparing this car to the older, uh, Aust uh, sorry, the Morris Mini Minor, mainly because that's a much older car and the brown one's a bit more of the same sort of year as this one, um, compared to the older one of course, which is a lot older. It's a noticeably massive difference. Obviously, it still feels like a mini inside. It's still got that sort of boxy, small, you know, but fun shape and feel to it. But it's a lot more chuckable. You know, the older mini is a lot more fragile, like I said. This one, it feels a, bit, a lot more lively, more spirited at the corners. You know, and it's not to say that the old mini isn't good because they're both good. They're all three of them are all good in their own way. That's what minis are all about there's no mini that's not boring or there is boring sorry because I think minis are just all of them are fun unless they've got no engine then they're not fun at all but that's part of a project right now if you was to ask me which one I prefer out of the three I'll be honest here I would say a mixture of the um, Morris Mini Minor and this one um, why so the Morris Mini Minor, I like the look of it the most. It's got the classic sort of original Mini look and I like that the most. Um, but yet, yeah, it's very delicate. It's a much older car. It's less chuckable. I like having a Mini that's more fun. that can sort of whiz around the bends. With the older one, you've got to be a bit more careful. And the brown one, I like. It still feels great, but I'm not so sure. Um, on the look of it cosmetics wise and like everyone knows you know we've got three minis here they're all completely different as how they look much older fully custom and this is a sport pack model i think so i'm sure it's a sport pack model um so i prefer the look of the morris mini minor the feel of this one but i like how the brown one is completely unique and it's very custom um so yeah that's my summary but all very very good and good fun as we all know that is an obvious answer. We all know classic minis are always good fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you uh, enjoyed this uh, sort of little video I've made. Um, I'm sure there'll be more of these coming soon. Hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in any of these cars, then do give us a call. 01277 563 561. You can email us. All the contact details are down below in the video description. Thanks for watching and uh, I'm sure I'll see you soon. Cheers.